Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to talk to you about some things that you need to take into consideration when thinking about getting a work from home job. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. And you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are here because you want to hear my opinion on the cons of working from home. I talk so highly of working from home. I don't think I ever wanna go back into an office to be frank. The productivity is better for me, um, but that is because I have poured in for the last four or five years a really robust routine to stay focused. But if you're thinking about doing a job change or a shift or you are working from home, here's some things to consider that maybe you're not great at working from home or maybe you want a work from home job because you're in the office constantly. So I'm gonna talk about these five things that you wanna think about and see if working from home is for you. Now, number one would be isolation. Now. If you're like me, you wake up, you shower, you get ready, you take your son to daycare, and then you head into your home office, right? There's nobody here, I am alone. Yes, there's other desks, but I am primarily working alone in isolation. When I take my lunch, I eat at home. Now, I don't often go out for lunch unless it's with customers uh, and, and sales jobs. You might not have that isolation, but other jobs, operations, marketing, finance, any of these jobs, you will be isolated. And if you don't have a social life outside of work, it can be very, very lonely, right? Most of the social interaction that you get when you are an adult and not in school anymore is at work. So think about your lifestyle. Do you have a balanced lifestyle where after work you go out or on the weekends you go out? Because if you don't, you might wanna consider an office job, right? There is a lot less isolation. Now, number two would be distractions. I know from personal experience that I've had employees in the past get very distracted about house chores and things like that or dishwasher. Because I've been working from home so long, you have to do the dishwasher in the morning or at lunchtime. But sometimes if you're, especially in a smaller space, you can see your house chores that are daunting. And let me tell you, yes, it's amazing to do your chores during the day when you're supposed to be working, but it will catch up to you, right? If you are constantly distracted at home, whether it's pets, children, house chores, doorbells ringing, curiosity of what's going on in the neighborhood, there is a lot less distractions when you go to an office, right? There's no chores, there's no family, there's no pets. You are forced to sit at your desk and work. The only distraction might be your colleagues, which again, is a great thing, right? Socialize. Um, the number three one I find is probably the hardest, and I see more people struggling with this one, is separating your personal life and your work life. Because I am working in my home, there are other things that happen in this office that are not work related, right? Before work or after work, I have my gaming set up here, I have my personal things here. And sometimes what people need to do is they need to get in the car to, to forget about their personal life, leave it at the door, at home, and go into an office. When you have your office in your home, especially if it's in your bedroom and you don't have a space specifically for your desk and your office, it is very challenging to leave your personal life behind, whether you're going through separation, whether you're going through friend issues, family crisis, sick, anything like that, I find it, even for me, can be challenging to leave your personal stuff at the door when you are personally at home. And a lot of people don't think about that, but if you are one of those people that are struggling with working from home, I suggest you go to an office, find an office or a cafe, especially if the personal life is a challenging time. And I don't know one person that has a life that's always perfect all the time. So personal issues will trickle into work and it's very difficult to stop that when working from home. 
Number four would be tech issues, right? Power outages, internet outages. Um, I've had a lot of employees in the past not have internet, not have good internet, have networking issues. That affects your personal brand at work. I've seen some of the top executives have bad internet connections frequently and I'm like, you have to invest in your technology. You have to make sure your networking is good. You have to make sure whether you're using Wi-Fi or an ethernet cable into your system, that it is strong. This is your personal brand. You're working from home and you need to have great internet. If you don't invest in it, call your local provider and just make sure that everything is up to speed. Now, the other thing is tech support will not come to your house to check your internet. So you need to either be really good at that, find a friend or hire someone to just ensure that your technology is set up for success and that it's not a weekly occurrence that this is happening in your life. Power outages, you can't really do much about that, but if you have consistent power outages and you have a work from home job, you either need to move and go find a place that does not have consistent power outages or you need to have a plan B. So whether that's a cafe, whether that's going to a friend's house or another organization's house, whatever that looks like to you, you have to have a backup plan when working from home. And you don't need that if you go to an office, right? It is on the office's job to make sure that you have power and internet all day, every day. And lastly, it kind of goes with the isolation is the lack of social connection, right? You can have your social connection on Zoom. You can call someone up and have a conversation and have a little hangout, but it does not beat that normal social interaction that you have in the office, heading to you know, the lunchroom, getting a glass of water, having a coffee, going out on a quick little break. For the people that need fresh air on a break and, and go for a walk, I'm not gonna say smoking, but whatever you like to do in your social time, you really miss that that social interaction, especially if you're just huddled in your own department. You don't have a lot of cross department socialization where when you're in an office, you can bump into anyone, any type of person, any role, elevator, parking lot, what have you. And I think a lot of people are missing the social interaction. So it does go with the isolation. Make sure you're getting out there in your personal life, finding friends, there's tons of applications to find friends, tons of activities. And I think that's the hardest one for adults, especially over the age of 30. It is very challenging to make new friends. And I hope this video was helpful. Working from home is not always super glamorous. I love it. There's a ton of benefits on why I like working from home. Commuting is probably the top one. But other than that, you have to make sure you are building a robust routine to ensure that you are having success while working from home. If you like this type of video, feel free to subscribe and like it. And I will see you next Monday. Take care.